Boys, girls, cats, squirrels, what is going on? My name is Slightly Salt, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke series here on the channel. What is going on? I hope you guys had a fantastic day, or are having a fantastic day or fantastic night whenever this video is going up. But, yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I was going to say... Let's just get right into the video because we do not need a team recap. We recapped it in the last episode, and all that really changed is we picked up this Jirachi. Let's pop a repel so we can just cruise on through this area um, so we can get that TM that he's going to give us because that's pretty much one of the main reasons why I wanted to come in here. The repels are at the top, aren't they? I only have repel regular repels. I thought I had super repels. Well, we've got eight. We should be good enough. Let's get on through. Did I need to press that button? I hope not. Yes, I did. Joy. <laughs> Wasting these repels. Oh, I might need to switch Jirachi out of the front because it's not that high of a level and levels in here are going to be a lot higher. We caught a snow run at the beginning of the last episode, so this guy's nothing. Uh, we're just going to run if we can. I think that's going to be the play. Run. All right, we got a wet Pokemon. Smashed. Come on out here. Yeah, let's keep on going. Our repels effect wore off. Let's pop another one. And keep on going. And I don't know if you guys can hear him. My little brother's being loud upstairs. Like he always is, even though I told him. You be quiet because I was recording. Oh, this is going to be a stat. Actually, this is a static. We could technically catch this. It is a Metacham. I mean, I'm down. I'd be down to catch this. I will be back in a second. And we are back. That is my second cut that I had to make in an episode, in or two episodes in a row. Which sucks. I want to go ask my little brother to move into his room, which I don't understand why he's not in to watch YouTube. He always goes in the living room to watch YouTube when he literally has an Xbox and a TV in his room. And I hear him talking to somebody on his Xbox. He literally left his friend alone in his room in a party just to go watch YouTube in the living room. I do not get my little sibling sometimes. Sometimes I just... I just do not understand them. But, whatever. Thankfully, he listened and actually went into his room to listen to it. To listen to whatever YouTube video he was listening to. I just did not want some anime girl talking in the background that's not even anime. Some realistic anime thing that they're trying to recreate anime in real life. Or something like that. I don't know. I don't understand the YouTube videos my little brother watches. But, that's what he likes watch so yeah what am i gonna name this guy i need a name i need a name i need a name let's name him med champion uh, yoga we're gonna name him instructed instructed because he's a yoke i was gonna call him yoga i was trying to think of something with to do with yoga because yoga is like relaxation of the core like meditation and i was thinking of yoga instructor so instructed and it just fits either way we're probably not gonna use this guy we already have two psychic types on the team we don't need another i think we're good on the psychic types I don't really know where I'm going in here. That's one thing to note. I think I have to press this blue thing and go up there. I think. Yes. And now the other one is a static, which I don't need. And we're not getting another static. There's technically like six statics we can get in here, but I'm not going to grab all six. So I, there's not actually six. I think there's the one I got plus two two or three more like those two both of those were statics so i do not need any more statics 
We flipped on the switch. Generator appears to have stopped. Let's pick up whatever this item is. It's a nugget. That's cash. And let's see if we have an escape rope. Do I have an escape rope? Escape, escape, escape. No, I do not. Boy, does that suck. Alright, now we're running all the way back. And that means I have to battle the static mon because I need it to open the door. Yay! Ugh. Oh, it was a pharaoh anyways. I wouldn't have caught it. Wouldn't even want to attempt to catch it. What was I talking about? Did I even have anything I was wanting to talk about for this episode? I do not know. Um, I had two question of the days in the last episode. That was probably a mistake to do. Because I could have used them this episode. Yeah, what did we talk about? We talked about Fortnite and... Oh, I messed up. We talked about Fortnite and Gigantamax forms. We also talked about LGPE and LGP... Yeah, LGPE. Oh, what else is going on in life with me with other stuff um well pokemon sword and shield any day now there's gonna be news any day all the time i'm thinking they're gonna release one new thing every week now i think we only have we have like three weeks left till the game comes out i think we can expect new information at least once every week or once every two weeks I think we are going to get starter evolutions before launch, but I think it's only going to be a week before launch because always anywhere between a week before launch to a couple days before launch, some guy's going to get into the game and get into the coding and reveal the entire Pokedex to us. So if Pokemon wants to be the one to break the news rather than just leaks online, they're going to have to reveal the starters because that's going to be the biggest thing that people are going to want to know is what are the starters? What are their types? Like, they don't even have to re reveal what they look like for me personally. I mean, I would like to know what they look like. But the biggest thing that's going to uh, decide which starter I'm choosing is their typing. I want to know their ty typing to know who I'm going to choose. Oh my god, I'm busting through all my repels. Doesn't help that I keep going the wrong way. Doesn't also help that they're only 100 uh, feet, 100 steps. Another cleanse tag. I think that's my second cleanse tag. I think I already had one in my bag. But yeah. Alright, now we could get out of here. Can we use fly yet? No, we don't even have fly yet. We get fly on our way to the next gym. Will we, we will be getting fly. The flying type gym leader. But yeah, I think I should also stop by the Pokemart here and pick up some more repels. Maybe some super repels? Do, you, do we got super repels yet? We don't even have repels here. That sucks. How many super potions do I have? Pick up 11 more. Great balls. 20. Let's pick up 10 more. That's all I need. But yeah, so I really hope that uh, Game, Freak does, Game Freak and Nintendo don't leave it to leakers to kind of unveil what everything's going to be was that rain dance did he just say rain dance let me double check this paddle dance that's not bad like a grass type outrage i shall keep it in mind um what was i talking about oh yeah i really hope game freak and nintendo don't leave it to leakers to unveil what the starters are going to be what they're going to look like and what their uh typings are going to be i seriously only really need the typings to know who i'm going to choose that's all i really need in life however like then again what they look like also would help like going into uh sun and moon the first time sun and moon came out i'm like yo poplio he looks sick Rowlet, cute as hell. Linton, he's I probably my least favorite of the base stages. 
at the time, Litten was my least favorite for Ultra Sun and Moon Star. Uh, for Sun and Moon starters, Poplio, I'm like, he's sick. He's gonna evolve into Water Fighting. It'll be cool. Then it wasn't pretty much confirmed that he would evolve into Water Fairy. I'm like, that could still be really sick. And then out came Primarina, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not getting him. I'm not choosing him. I don't like Primarina. I have played Sun and Moon many times. Uh, have I completed Sun and Moon many times? No, but I have uh, restarted Sun and Moon many times, and I've never chosen Poplio just because I really do not like how Primarina looks. It's not because it looks feminine. I just find they did not go the right way with Poplio. Poplio looked so sick, and then they just kind of went a completely different route with him. I should switch into Flareon here. We could end this guy quickly. I should also put Jirachi back in front. So I could train him up. Because that would be nice. Because I have a full team of six now, we might even have to do more grinding montages. The more Pokemon you have on a team, the lower level that all of your Pokemon are each going to be, which sucks. Even with a lucky egg, it still sucks. So we still might have to do more grinding montages throughout the thing to keep all of my Pokemon on par with the levels that we will be fighting. Because the next gym's ace is indeed level like 36 i think i think it's 36 or 37 maybe maybe lower because i think taint and lisa are like 41 or something i'm not sure see i suck with remembering gems and their levels and stuff i can remember gym typings like i remember Every gym's typing from every region, probably. But, um... Their levels? Not so much. And where everything is situated, like move the leaders, move renamers, that I'm not bad in. I'm probably not the greatest. But I'd be like, if somebody asked me, like, yo, where in Johto is, like, the move the leader? I could probably, like, tell them the locations that it probably could be in. Like, the move the leader, I think in Johto is in Blackthorn I think I'm pretty positive no I think but yeah like even this Jirachi having this Jirachi on my team is just kind of annoying because it's not going to do anything for me right now yeah it's a psychic and steel type we don't have steel but I have psychic covered with smash So, I don't know. I might ha I might wait till grinding montage to train up rubbed. I think that's what I'm going to do. Right now, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put Slacked in front, give him the lucky egg, and get him to evolve. I think that's my play. I think I'm just going to leave Jirachi in the back burner um, until he is needed or until we have another grinding session. Where I put Jirachi and probably Typhlosion on the team. Is this my first encounter? It is my first encounter in the grass, if I'm not mistaken. But the thing is, I think I fished uh, earlier to get an encounter. So I'm just going to kill him. There we go. Smash the buttons, smash the buttons. Ooh, slash. Uh, we are going to teach that... I did not mean to teach that over Eon, I meant to teach that over Fury Swipes. Ugh, I like the Eon, it was a status. I like having status on the team. That sucks. Oh well. Soon we're gonna have a slacking and hopefully we'll, we will not need to status anybody. Ever. Because slacking is just gonna come in and do a 1-2 boom and destroy everything in its path. And yeah, hopefully that's the case. All right, we are going to slash him and ember him. Oko, Oko, Oko. Yeet. I don't think Torch can be killed with one water gun. God, I hope not. Oh, yeah, Icy Wind. Okay, we're in the clear, boys. Ooh, I wish a Vigoroth learned Quick Attack. Cause could you imagine slacking with Quick Attack? 
I should have used quick attack on my torch. I'm going to change anything because we're just going to kill him right here. Right? Oh, yeah. And Ember. Bada bing, bada boom. He is dead. Beauty, beauty, beauty. 32 on torched. 32 on slacked? No. I can't wait to get the slacking. Slacking is going to be. Could you imagine if we get like huge power slacking? We, everything's done. No. I'm. Um, uh, 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 no Truant plus huge power? Ooh. Too good to ever be true. It won't happen. But a boy can dream. Uh, we need stuff to talk about. What are we going to talk about? What is going on in your guys' lives? Do you guys need to leave comments? You guys need to leave comments about what you want to see me do. Questions of the day. Other stuff. I need ideas from you guys because you guys are helpful you guys are here with me on this journey let me know what you want to know about me I'm very open about my life like literally if you knew me in real life I am open about everything a little too open sometimes but um that's okay I hope I hope people in my life are okay with it I am usually that open to bust jokes. Like, I bust jokes on myself all the time. My philosophy in life is if you cannot make fun of yourself, then you can't make fun of anyone. Like, I do not think you should be able to make fun of anyone if you can't make fun of yourself. Like, I'm not saying go out and bully a kid. That's not what I'm saying. But I mean, like, bust jokes. Like, I bust jokes on my friends all the time. I rail them all the time. I'm like, like, calling someone gay? Not that big of a thing. Dude, that was so gay. Like, come on, guys. I understand it's 2019. But at the same time, that's never going to change. You guys have to let some stuff slide. But now somebody going up to someone to be like, dude, get away from me. You're so effing gay. No. That's crossing the line. But, like, joking around, haha, dude, that was so gay. <laughs> Personally, I think that's fine. Some people may disagree. I do know it's 2019, but at the same time, I'm, I'm also the type of person... That's like, I don't care if I hurt your feelings type of thing. Everybody in 2019 is going to get offended by something. Every single person. Like, what I just said. Somebody is offended by that right now. Like, if they actually watch the channel. But if they watch the channel, I'm going to get some comment that goes, That's so not right to say. You can't say that. You have your opinions. I have mine. I won't get offended by yours. Don't get offended by mine. If my opinions if my opinions really bother you, you can stop watching me, but I'm never gonna like be like force feeding my opinions on somebody's throat like a baby, nine year old baby, and I'm taking a spoon with all my opinions and just jamming it down its throat. I'm not gonna do that to the kid. The poor sucker. I might jam his food down his throat, but not that. Ooh, he transformed. What are you gonna do to me? Slash. You're gonna slash me like I'm gonna slash you. Take this slash. I don't understand why he transformed. Ooh, Fury Swipes. Was not expecting that. Thank God it was only two. Rain continues to fall. Yo! We are two episodes in. We are now 50 minutes in. That's the 30 minutes of the last episode, plus the 20 minutes that we are deep into this episode. And I still have yet to turn Battle anim Animations back on. Oh my god. Alright, if you're wondering why tech speed is still on medium, it's because of, um, it's because in the randomizer itself, I have the option to put on fastest tech speed already in there, so I just do that and I don't touch, uh, in here because if I did, then this would happen, like, I'll show you guys what will happen. It ends up being too fast where no text pops up. Watch. Yep. That's what happens. And I like the text pop thing up. It just looks weird if it doesn't. In all honesty. Like, I don't read the text. I know that. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Most times I don't. And then randomly I'll be like, you know what? Right now, I'm down to read the text. And then I read it. Because that's what I do. Why? Who knows? Don't kill me with this t -bolt. 
Ooh, you might have quick attack. I'm healing. I'm healing. I'm healing. I'm healing. I'm healing. Oh, wait. Did that heal more than he did? Okay, I I'm good now. He went for Thundershock instead of Thunderbolt. Oh. Slash. We good. We good. We could have just slashed before because apparently he went for Thundershock. He might not actually have quick attack. But I did not want to take that risk. Because I know Pikachu can have quick attack. So I figured Raichu would be able to too. I was wrong. Zapdos. Do I have anything to take on as Zapdos? Not really. I'll go and smash to take him on. Because Electric is special. And Mewtwo special is through the roof. And yeah. I don't know why I said it like that. But I did. So we are going to roll with it. What am I at? We are at 20 minutes into this episode, so there's only 10 minutes left. About. I'm not trying to rush the episode. It's just, like I said earlier, I do have homework, and it is already 4 o'clock. Still don't have the other episode edited. A, I don't think the episode's going up today. I procrastinated too much today. And plus, I'm going to my girlfriend's, and I'm leaving probably in like an hour. Because I probably won't see her tomorrow. Or for the remainder of the... Actually, I'll see her probably Thursday. Because I do not work Thursday right now. Unless they call me in. Psych up. No thanks. <sighs> Some of that fine G Fuel. I love G Fuel, man. G Fuel is just... It's good. G Fuel is just so good. They have so many different flavors, and the flavors are just friggin' fantastic. I absolutely love them. Um, I spend way too much of my money on it. Like, then again, I've been decent. I usually only buy during the 50, the, the buy one, get one sale, or like with a 30% off code. Like, this was my first time ever buying G Fuel without a buy one, get one sale. And I just bought it using the 30% code. I bought it using united gamers 30 percent off code use the code united for 30 percent off g fuel why did i just plug him even though it's probably not even 30 percent off but yeah that's what i end up using uh i also could use day drives because i do watch him too i use people who i'm watching i was watching when i was when i was literally buying g fuel i was watching united gamer i was like i right, let's just use code in united it was 30% off at the time, and I don't even think A drives was 30% off at the time. I think uh, I think United Gamers got extended for some reason, and yeah, I'm like, you know what? Bye. We are gonna be catching a Pupitar here, uh, so I think I know what Jirachi is getting replaced with. Having a Rock and Dark type is gonna be sick for the team. Uh, I know he can't really utilize much of his Dark typing. Because his dark type special, and I do not think Tyranitar has that good special. That good of special, but it's all good. Hey, Pupitar, come on, stay in the ball. I think you've screeched me now twice, so I'm gonna swap. We're getting such a powerful team now that I think about it. We already have Mewtwo, we're gonna have Mewtwo, Salamence, Slacking. Gyarados, Typhlosion, probably. No way! Pupitar has Shadow Tag. Oh, that's ridiculous. Don't kill my Slacked. Maybe you don't have an attacking move. Maybe the only attacking move he has is, like, Tackle. Which, I mean, I wouldn't be mad about. Pokeballs. Safari, nest, repeat. No. Great ball. Let's go. Come on. Jupiter. You the man. Stand. One, two, three. Triple jiggle. Ah. Rock slide. Ouch. I eat. Pop a heel. Pop a heel. I can't believe that triple jiggled. Another person I watch is Shady Penguin. Even though United Gamer and Original 151 do say Triple Jiggle 2, and I probably A Drive does too. Um, 
I watch Shitty Penguin also. That's what we'll talk about. Besides myself, if you are watching me, um, what other Pokemon YouTubers, what other PokeTubers do you watch? What other Twitch streamers do you watch? What other Pokemon content creators do you watch? I watch um, A Drive. A Drive was the first Pokemon YouTuber that I started watching, uh, and that's what got me into watching Pokemon content creators. I watched him for like a solid two years before I started watching anyone else. And then through him, I started watching Shitty Penguin because I came across their cage lock that had already passed at the time, I think. I think at least. Or it was going on. Maybe it was going on. Their cage lock at the time. When I found him. But yeah, then I got into Shitty Penguin and Shitty Penguin leaded me to Mr. Nips. Uh, I don't really watch Mr. Nips that much anymore. Oh my god, was that another triple jiggle? I think that was another triple jiggle. If he crits me, we're gone. Let's go with a Pokeball. Maybe he likes Pokeballs better. He does not like Pokeballs. I'm going to risk this one last time. One more Pokeball. If this does not catch, I'm going to leave because I'm afraid he's going to one-hit KO me. Yeah, my defense is at the bottom. I'm not... Oh, wait. Yeah, I got to attack. Uh, I don't want to risk it. Unfortunately, our team is not going to be as stacked as it could have been. But that's okay. But yeah, who else do I, did I start watching? So, through Shitty Penguin, I met Mr. Nips or Mr. Talent. I think it was Nips and then it became Mr. Talent. So yeah, I started watching him. Then going back to A-Drive, he ended up doing Cage Lock with Munching Orange. I watched Munching Orange for a bit. Then I stopped watching Munching Orange. Munching Orange stopped like putting out content in general. Stop watching him. Um, every here and there, I like to watch uh, fourth gen gamer, but mostly only for his cutthroat Pokemon. Yeah, it was his cutthroat Pokemon. Uh, that's the only thing I really watch is I watch the cutthroat Pokemon with um, Galactic Elliot, JPP, Pulse Effects, and Steph of Anime. That's the, their only content I really watch, though. Except for Pulse. Pulse, I like to watch his speedruns. I'm a big fan of Pulse Effects speedruns. Um, and yeah, and I forget how I ended up coming across United Gamer. So United Gamer was the first one that I ever watched in that friend group, I think. I think, actually, Frank and Vinny's Soul Link came into my recommended. I watched it once, but I wasn't a big fan of it. And because I watched that Soul Link, I ended up getting recommended uh, United Gamer and in Core Fishes Soul Link. Watched it, was a really big fan of United Gamer. I'm like, this is the kind of YouTuber I want to be. I want to be like United Gamer. Um, and yeah. The so United Gamer ended up becoming an inspiration. And I was just like, you know what? He's sick. I started watching his solo content, continued watching his Soul Links. And I'm like, Ryan was there. So I started watching Ryan stuff too, uh, also known as King Corfish. And then Cage Lock cap, Cage Lock started between uh, Dylan and Vinny. Started watching that, and then I started watching Vinny and Frank. Get over here. There we go. Jesus, oh, I had to play Duck Duck Goose with that guy. So yeah, then I started watching Original One Fifty One and. Uh, Ashford Mini videos is Cage Lock. And yeah, so I just continued watching them. So I was just watching all their stuff. Uh, then Dobbs came, then Dobbs came in because of the three-way verses. And then, you know, Dylan started doing stuff with Luke. And then, so I started watching Luke's content. And now Luke's another big inspiration of mine. And then I started watching Potters. So I watched quite a few people. And, um... There's other, up, other really small YouTubers I watch just because I watch them from time to time. Like, I was looking up, like, small YouTubers to maybe collab with, and I found these guys are, like, small-ish. But, like, then I just started watching them for their content. If they ever wanted to collab, I'd be so down to collab with any of them. But, yeah, I just kind of watch them for their content right now. So, I'm like, yo, I found them, and I'm like, yo, these guys' content's not bad. Big fan. And, yeah. So like 
in total, like the Pokemon YouTubers I watch of big names that people would know are like, so I got United Gamer, Game Boy Luke, Patters, King Corfish, Asteroid Mania videos, Original 151, A Drive, Shady Penguin, Mr. Talent, I still kind of watch here and there, I'm still sub to him, um, and I'm gonna say that's it, I'm sub to Dobbs, but I'm mostly sub to Dobbs for when he does stuff with the United Gamer, and original 151 like i watched they're, they're doing a verse they're doing a soul link right now i'm watching that i'm really pumped for united gamer game boy luke i show many videos and king corfish's four-way versus that comes out today i'm really excited about that and yeah and we are at the 30 minute mark i think because of that cut that i made it might be a bit smaller but yeah like i said i gotta get back to doing homework Hope you guys did enjoy this video. I also have to get to editing that other video. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you, what other Pokemon creators do you guys watch, whether that's on Twitch or YouTube. Oh, I'm also watching Pokeaim MD right now because he is doing a shiny lock, cage lock with a drive on Twitch.tv. So um, yeah, I'm also watching both of them. But yeah. Like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what Pokemon content creators you guys watch. Other than your boy. Down below in the comments down below. Down below in the comments down below. Wow. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. You guys know what to do. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Stay salty.